Hello everyone, I am back. And today, I'm bringing you a very simple how-to video. I will be showing you how to install the Project Cartographer mod for Halo 2 Vista. This mod allows you to play online multiplayer even though the servers were officially shut down in 2015. This mod will be broken up into two parts. The first part being how to install just the mod if you already have Halo 2 Vista installed in your computer. The second part of this video will be how to install the full game and the mod from Project Cartographer because they were nice enough to include an option to install the full game and the mod or to just download the mod by itself. So without further ado, let's get into the first part of this tutorial, how to install just Project Cartographer if you already have Halo 2 Vista installed on your machine. Alright, on to installing Project Cartographer if you already have Halo 2 Vista installed. Now chances are if you have Halo 2 Vista installed, you probably also have Games for Windows Live installed. Games for Windows Live is a client that Halo 2 Vista relies on in order to run properly. You would know if you installed Halo 2 Vista without Games for Windows Live and tried to run the game. It wouldn't work. Well. Project Cartographer and Games for Windows Live are incompatible, so we're going to go ahead and start off by uninstalling Games for Windows Live. We're going to go to our control panel, uninstall the program, and we're going to scroll down to the M's for all the good juicy Microsoft stuff. Now there's two things you're going to want to uninstall. The Games for Windows Live redistributable and Games for Windows Live Marketplace, as the Windows Store kind of took up the functions of Games for Windows Live Marketplace and the redistrib redistributable is the part that Halo 2 Vista actually uses. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall both of these. And there we are. Games Windows Live and its redistributable have been completely uninstalled. They no longer show up on our program list. And you don't need to restart your computer after uninstalling them. You can just move on to the next step, which I'm about to show you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link that I have linked in the description which is to this Project Cartographer website. It's more of a quick links website. It's not really the blog or the forums or anything like that. But when installing the mod over a existing installation of Halo 2 Vista, you have two options, the manual drag and drop method or the installer method. The drag and drop method I will not be showing you, but it's as simple as I made it sound. You just open up the WinRAR file, drag and drop the files that are in that WinRAR file into your Halo 2 Vista directory and boom you're done. I'm going to show you how to use the installer because it's even simpler. You're just going to want to go ahead and download this installer, run it, just go through the steps like you would when you're installing any program, any anything. Just go ahead and install it, it's very simple, it's very quick as you can tell, and boom you now have Project Cartographer installed and you can run it directly after you finish installing it, which we're not going to do. But if you notice, on my desktop, Halo 2 Project Cartographer has its own shortcut, completely independent of my old Halo 2 Vista shortcut and yours as well. I'm pretty sure you can run it from either one, but I'm just going to go ahead, drag Halo 2 Vista to that recycle bin, throw Project Cartographer right there, now we're ready to rock. We can play Halo 2 online whenever. Now you might be thinking, I don't have Halo 2 Vista already installed on my computer and I'm not going to spend like $40 on eBay or Amazon to buy it. Well, lucky for you, there is a free alternative, which is our second method of installing Project Cartographer, which I'll be showing you right now. Alrighty, here we are. I have completely uninstalled Halo 2 Vista. I no longer have Halo 2 Vista. There is definitely not a physical copy of Halo 2 Vista sitting over there on my shelf, but I want to play Halo 2 Vista Online. I want to play Halo 2 Vista Online for free using Project Cartographer. What on earth am I supposed to do? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and head to that same link from the installing the mod over a pre-existing installation of Halo 2, and you'll notice that the first one says full game installer plus mod and a torrent link. If you want to torrent it, you can do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and click the full game installer plus mod. Now it's a pretty big file, 2.9 gigabytes, and it's going to take a couple minutes to, for my computer to download that. So 
I will be right back when that's done to show you how to finish this setup. The file has just finished downloading, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And see we have Halo 2 Vista Setup as the only file in there. Well, what else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and run that. It's going to take it a few seconds to extract it. You can extract it first before running it if you'd rather do it that way, but I'm just going to run it straight from WinRAR. Because why not? Here we go. Hey, yes. Next. Looks awfully similar. Just go ahead and go through the motions. And we're gonna, we're not gonna install it there. I'm actually gonna change the installation directory because my C drive is really small. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do, it was we'll throw it in the old Halo 2 Vista folder where Halo 2 Vista used to be. We'll go ahead and throw it in there. Do not create shortcuts. I don't really mind, but let's go ahead and hit install anyways. And it's going to go ahead and install the full game plus car project cartographer. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Might take a while if you have a slow computer. I think I don't have that slow of a, com a computer. But I mean, you can judge me if you want. Thanks for the heads up, though. I'm just going to let it go through the motions here, and I will get back to you when it's done. And I am back again, and look at that, Project Cartographer is done. We're going to go ahead and hit next, and we can run the game to log in and play. We're not going to do that right now, and we're going to hit finish. Let's go ahead and head to our desktop and see what it left us. Look at that, Halo 2 Project Cartographer, a pretty little shortcut we're going to put right in the place of Halo 2 Vista. And that is how you install Halo 2 Vista and Project Cartographer, whether you already own Halo 2 Vista or not. And that is how you install Project Cartographer for Halo 2 Vista completely free, whether you already own Halo 2 Vista or not. It's very simple, it's very easy, and now you have access to Halo 2 Vista's online multiplayer completely free. I know I'm going to be playing it a lot more now that I have it installed as well because I didn't install it for my other video regarding Halo 2 Vista because I needed the games for Windows Live Client in order to showcase some of the features of Halo 2 Vista. Now that I have it installed, I hope to see a lot of people on there playing and I hope to see you guys on there. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.